Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Wali Khan. So we have completed the first two videos on explanation of the subject OR. What is OR, evolution of OR, characteristics, objectives, all these things, first two theory videos I have given. The next I have started game theory. Three theory videos and six problems videos I have given on game theory. Hope my regular viewers have already watched all the videos, got a good command on this subject. Normally this uh, operational research subject is a tough subject. But I have started with simple topics like queuing theory, game theory, simulation. Then we will start networking, then transportation assignment. Like this, lastly we will do the most difficult part that is linear programming by simplex method. That we will do lastly. So now in this video, I am going to start a new topic that is game theory. So watch the video till the end. If you understand the theory, definitely you can be able to easily understand the problems. Otherwise, you cannot understand. Normally what I have seen students directly goes to problem without understanding the basic concept. That is very much necessary. In examination also, only problem will not be asked. They will ask the concept. What is game theory? What are the assumptions of game theory? What is two person zero sum game? What is payoff matrix? All these are the concepts very important from examination point of view. So my suggestion, my advice to my students, watch the video till the end. Don't skip in between. So before starting the explanation of this topic of game theory, take the screenshot of the points which I have written, then I'll explain. Now, game theory. Actually, game theory represents a unique approach to the analysis of business decisions under conditions of competitive and conflicting situation. So, first of all, this game theory is a different, is a unique approach of making decisions in a situation where there is conflict, there is competition. So in a business, a lot of competition is there, a lot of conflicts are there. How to take the decision under such a conflicting and competitive situation? This game theory will give a unique approach, right? Theory is, uh, the theory is slight, highly useful to study of specific business problems. A business, we have to take a number of decisions under such situations. So this the game theory will provide a good technique to the management for taking decisions under such situations. Generally a game is any situation in which two or more players compete. Now I'm going to explain you about the meaning of the term game. We normally understand a game is a play where two or more participants will play. So any game, normally we think about the game in terms of sports, but game is not confined only to sports. Sport is one of the game, but apart from that, a number of games are there where two or more participants are participating. Such competitive situations are found in various activities. This type of situations where two or more parties are competing with each other in order, in order to win the game. The situation is a competitive and conflicting situation. So this type of situation we normally see in term in the cases of sports, in the case of business, in case of military strategies. So in these areas we find this situation of game. In games the participants are competitors. The success are, is at the expense of everything. In a game the participants are the competitors. They are competing with each other. The, win, uh, the party who wins is at the expense of the other party. That means one party will win, the other party will lose. That is the I mean, nature of the game. Then the main objective of game theory is to determine the rules. Why we study game theory? 
the objective of the game theory is to determine the rules of a rational behavior intelligent behavior is in a competitive situation where the outcomes of the are conditional and the actions of the participants when a party takes the action the opponent will not keep quiet the opponent will take a counter reaction then what should be the rational behavior of the party who takes some action example two competitors are there in a business a and b if a adopts any strategy business strategy taken any decision then automatically b will not keep quiet the opponent b will make a counter strategy due to that counter strategy first business will not achieve their objective they have to make another strategy like this the game goes on now the extent to which the player attains his objective depends in a game two or more participants are there what is the extent to which one party will attain the objective it depends on various factors like a rival's mental and physical resources example in india we have two uh, example simple example i am giving suppose there are only two competitors like uh, jio and uh, airtel many companies are there but for simplification for your understanding purpose i am giving jio and uh, airtel suppose airtel has taken an action so how far airtel will be successful in attaining the objective of this action depends on the mental and other resources available with the competitors because jio will not keep quiet when airtel has taken a decision automatically definitely the uh, other company jio has to defend it now and rules of the game and the courses of actions they follow so these are the factors on which a party uh, will attain the objective now the need for analyzing such situations calls for a special or technique in operation research we have a technique to attain the objective in such a competitive and conflicting situation how a company how a business can be able to attain the objective in such a competitive and conflicting situation or has given a technique that technique is the game theory the theory of game essentially is nothing but a mathematical theory of conflicting situation the game theory which we are going to study now is a mathematical technique mathematical i mean a theory on which how to take the decision under such a conflicting situation now the objective of the theory is to analyze and elaborate what constitute rational behavior of each of the opponents in the course of conflicting situation this is very important <coughs> what is the objective why we have to study the game theory the game theory will analyze and elaborate the situation analyze and elaborate the situation and let the party will take the best course of action in order to attain the objective how to attain the objective how to take a best decision that thing we can know by using game theory thus game theory may be defined as lastly i am going to explain you about the definition definition of game theory <coughs> game theory may be defined as a body of knowledge that deals with making decisions first of all the game theory is used for making decisions when two or more intelligent and rational opponents are involved secondly first of all it's a theory of decision making secondly when two or more intelligent and rational participants are there opponents are there involved under conditions of conflict and competitive situation so three things you have to remember it's a body of knowledge that deals with decision making where and rational opponents when two or more intelligent and rational opponents are involved under conditions of conflicting and competitive situation that is the definition of the term game theory instead of making inferences from the past behavior of the opponent the approach of game theory is to seek to determine a rival's most probable counter strategy normally what will happen without applying this game theory the participants in a game will 
take the action according to inferences of the past behavior. According to the past behavior, they will take the action. Example, one company XYZ and another company ABC. These two companies are conflicting competitors. Then, suppose if game theory is not applied, then XYZ will take an action assuming what is the behavior of ABC company in the past. According to past inferences, the other company will take the decision. But in case of game theory, if we apply game theory, we will not depend on the past inferences. We will analyze the present situation. That means if we adopt a strategy, what action, what would be the action taken by the B company? If we adopt B strategy, what action the other company may take? In this way, we have to analyze the situation mathematically. So to determine, to one's own best moves and to formulate the appropriate defensive measures. Just like in a football match. In football match, two teams are there, A team, B team. When A team makes an offense, definitely the B team will not make the offense. They will defense. They will make defense. So one makes the offense, the other makes the defense. Similarly, one company will take an action, the other company will make a counter, uh, I mean strategy, counter strategy the other uh, party will make. In that case, what should be the appropriate strategy for the first form? Here example I have given. This example will make you clear about the game theory. If two firms are locked up in a war to maintain the market share, suppose Every company wants to get maximum market share. Like Airtel wants to capture the maximum market share. Jio also wants to I mean, capture the market share. So how they can be able to capture the maximum market share? Then a price cut by the first firm will invite reaction from the second firm in the nature of price cut. Suppose if there is a price cut by the first firm, automatically the second firm will not keep quiet the second firm will also cut their prices then what will happen the objective of first uh, i mean company will not uh, will not be achieved example airtel has sliced uh, slashed the prices then automatically jio will not keep quiet if airtel slashed the prices the market share of airtel will increase Whereas the geo market share will decrease. So geo will not keep quiet. Geo will also follow the, follow the same suit. They will also cut the prices. Then if they also cut the prices, then the objective of the first firm, Airtel, will not be achieved. What they think that if we reduce the price, we'll get more share. But automatically the other party is also slashing the price. Then the objective of the first firm is not achieved then what they will do this will in turn affect the sales and profits of the first firm which will again have to develop a counter strategy the first firm Airtel should not keep quiet they have to make a counter strategy so before slashing the prices by Airtel they will analyze what would be the reaction of Jio if the reaction of Jio is also reducing the price then we have to make a second counter strategy then only we can be able to achieve the objective otherwise if we simply keep quiet then definitely Airtel will not be able to achieve the objectives the game will go on in this way the game will go on strategy counter strategy strategy counter strategy continuously it will go game theory helps in determining the best course of action for a firm in view of expected counter moves from the competitors so how this game theory will be helpful to the business in taking the decisions it will provide the best move to be taken best move to be taken by a participant in the game in view of the competition and conflicting situation so this game theory will be helpful to the management for taking decisions in such a competitive situation that's all so here i have explained you so far about the meaning of the term game theory so after watching this video two three times definitely you can be able to write in examination what is game theory if theory question is asked 
apart from that assumptions very frequently they will ask you assumptions of game theory <coughs> the game theory is based on a number of assumptions the first assumption the players act rationally and intelligently first condition the participants of the game are intelligent participants competitive partici uh, participants rational participants what do you mean by rational a person who thinks, who evaluates before taking any action. So without, before taking any action, the person will analyze what would be the consequences of this action. So the, that person is called a rational person. He thinks from mind, not from heart. So everyone will not take the decision from mind only. Instead, the mind is at the top of the body, but still we take the decisions according to our heart the heart decision may sometimes be right sometimes we will wrong but mind decisions are always correct that means rational decisions rational decisions means correct decisions be, uh, uh, without i mean before first of all analyze the situation uh, think about the consequences of that situation so the players should act rationally and intelligently Second, each player has available to him finite number of possible course of action. See, decision making will arise whenever we have two or more alternative courses of action. If we don't have alternative course of action, there is no case of decision making. But here we have alternative courses. So here what we have to assume, what is the assumption of game theory that every player will have finite fixed number of alternative courses of action like a b c d e five options are there out of the five alternative courses of action he has to select any one the finite number of course of action the players attempt to maximize gain or minimize loss two parties are there one party if try to maximize the other party wants to minimize like simple example just now i've given airtel want to maximize the market share that is the offensive move taken by Airtel. The other company Geo will not make offensive, they will make defensive because Airtel has slashed the prices, their market share may increase. So our strategy is to defend. Uh, defend means not allowing the Airtel to increase the market share. We will provide some more better services to the customer so that customers should not be lost to Airtel. That means the share market share of Geo should not be decreased. So one party is the maximizing player, the other party should be the minimizing. All relevant information is known to each of the party because every party is intelligent participant. So every party will have full information about the rules of the games, about the courses of the action. Then the players make individual decisions without direct communication. Another very important assumption is Every party in the game will take their own decision without consulting the opponent, without communicating the opponent that we are taking so and so decision. There is no communication between the participants. The players simultaneously select the respective course of action. After analyzing from different angles, one participant will take a particular course of action lastly the payoff is fixed and determined in advance payoff means the outcome of the game if uh, first firm a selects a1 strategy and firm b selects b1 strategy so in firm b we have b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 five strategies are there a firm is having a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so five strategy available for a firm and five strategies available for b firm now A firm has selected A1, B firm has selected B4. Then what would be the outcome if these two strategies are taken by A and B? That outcome is called payoff. So uh, two person, first of all, before the payoff matrix, first we learn about two person zero sum game. Name itself is clear, two person a game which consists of only two participants so a game with only two players where the gain of one player equals to the loss of the other player is known as two person zero sum very simple two person zero sum game means 
a game in which only two participants are there in which one party's gain is exactly equal to the loss by the other party the gain and loss to both the parties will be equal then the two person games are applicable to those situations where there are only two participants only two participants must be there or competitors are involved the players are opposite to each other and the sum of the game and losses is equal to zero sum of the game of uh, gains and losses will be equal to zero example if a wins 10 rupees so automatically it means 10 rupees is lost by b so a gains 10 rupees b lost 10 rupees so plus 10 for a minus 10 for b so plus 10 minus 10 will get cancelled ultimately will get zero that is called zero sum game the gain to one party will be exactly equal to the loss to the other party then that is the gain made by one player is exactly equal to the loss incurred by the other party thus in a zero sum game the sum of games the sum of gain and losses will exactly equal to zero this concept is most frequently asked in examination what is two person zero sum game the last topic the last concept in this video is payoff matrix a matrix consists of a matrix consists of rows and columns in rows the strategies for a player in columns the strategies available for b player example three strategies are available for a player a1 a2 a3 out of these three strategies he has to select any one b player is having five strategies b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 so we have five columns and three rows in this rectangle matrix we write the payoff payoff means the outcome of the game suppose a player has selected a1 b player has selected b1 so how much is the gain to a how much is the loss to b similarly if a player has selected a3 whereas b player has selected b2 then what would be the outcome of the game that is called a payoff so all the payoff are written in a matrix form in rows one player strategy in columns another player player strategy and all the outcomes are given that is called payoff matrix that's it ha so in this video i have explained you about the meaning of the term game theory assumptions of game theory two person zero sum game and payoff matrix some more concepts are there that i'll continue in the next video inshallah so if you're satisfied give a like to the video share my channel among your friends among your groups so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge give your comments on these videos subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next topic in the next video